friends what's up this is RK from 360 reader right now I'm going to show how to set a walking steadiness in iOS 15 on iPhone walking steadiness is an estimate of your stability while walking iPhone calculates walking steadiness using your walking speed step length double support time and walking asymmetry data that's stored in the health app this provides a sense of the way you walk walking steadiness is also related to your fall risk if your walking steadiness goes down your risk of falling goes up walking steadiness is not an indication of how likely you are to fall at any given moment but it's an overall sense of fall risk in the next 12 months iPhone can automatically record your walking steadiness in the health app when you carry your iPhone in a pocket or holder near your rest. You can also receive a notification if your walking steadiness is low or very low. You can manage these notifications in the health checklist. That's all being said, let's learn how to set up walking steadiness in iOS 15 on iPhone. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and also hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 reader to get going launch the health app on your iphone running ios 15 or later after that tap the browse tab located at the bottom right corner of the screen then scroll down and choose mobility after that scroll down again to find walking steadiness notifications and hit setup now follow the simple steps to set up walking steadiness on your iphone now i would like to offer up a few pretty helpful tips about walking walking steadiness and why you should monitor it. As people age, their chances of being injured in a fall increase quite a bit. Falls are the leading cause of severe injury in older adults. By tracking your walking steadiness over time, you are able to see changes before they become pronounced and the sooner you notice a problem, the sooner you may be able to start to improve your steadiness. Walking involves the nervous, muscular and skeletal system so your stride can also be a good indicator of overall health. Changes in a person's walking steadiness can also be a symptom of other health problems. This can range from issues such as poor vision or arthritis to Parkinson's disease or depression. Some medications can also have an effect on your steadiness. Now let's talk about the tips to improve your walking steadiness. Most people don't lose or gain walking steadiness quickly. Depending on your current level of steadiness, consistent exercise that focuses on strength and balance can help you maintain or even increase your steadiness over time. Exercises such as Tai Chi and Yoga are also beneficial for improving strength and balance and also work to increase overall flexibility. If your walking steadiness has declined to a low level, there are also certain basic exercises you can do at home that may improve your steadiness. That's all there is to it. So that's the way you can set up and use walking steadiness in iOS 15 on your iPhone. If you found this tip helpful, make sure to like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such helpful tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.